Lots of people have been asking me, how am I able to control my vMix software using my mobile phone? Now, in this video, I want to show you how I'm able to do that remotely. And what this means is that a situation where you have your vMix, which is running on your PC, and you want to have that uh, leverage of being able to control it like within the environment where you are using either your smartphone or using like your tablet you know for ease of use then you need to watch this video so to start off with it's very simple to do and all you just need to do is to follow along please make sure to subscribe to this uh, video and share and if you find it very helpful do well to encourage us by subscribing to the channel Follow us across all our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and all that. So to do that, first of all, right here on uh, your Chrome or whichever browser that you prefer, download this very app. What I use is called Team Viewer Remote Desktop 2. Now, uh, there, are, there is also like the Chrome desktop, but the reason why I prefer the Team Viewer is that you get the opportunity to, you know, have that seamless feel. If you use like the Chrome remotes, it kind of lags and I don't really fancy it. See here where it says free download. Go ahead and install. This is what it looks like once it's installed. Then um, on your mobile phone, all you still need to do, whether you're using your Android phone or you're using your, your, uh, uh, your iPhone, just download the application from your Google Play Store or from your iOS Store. And once it's installed, launch it, and then you are going to see this point on my desktop where it says uh, receive support. And you can see uh, share your ID and password with the experts. And you can see here I have my uh, ID and also a password. And over here on my phone, you can still see it's asking for partner's ID. Now, the partner's ID, where it says ID here on your desktop, just go ahead and impute the number. So I think the number is kind of uh, repetitive. Then you press on remote control. So once it finishes, you get to sign in. It's asking me to sign in. So I'm going to continue. So make sure you are also signed in. Just uh, you can use either your Microsoft account, your Google uh, account, or you can use your Apple. So I'm going to sign up so that uh, I can have the opportunity for me to, you know, continue. So you can see right here, it's asking for the team viewer's password. So where it's asking for the password, look at this password right here. That is what I am going to impute. So just go ahead. It's going to differ. The password is going to differ. So you impute it. And once you are done, you click on OK. So just make sure. You can see instantly I have it right here. Like you can see what it just showed on my screen. Like I'm already having my screen right here on my phone. And this is just so nice. So to be able to control this, you can see if it doesn't allow you right here on your uh, PC, just click on this where it says allow or deny remote control. So what this means is that you need to click on this. That is if it's not allowing you to control uh, the vMix using your phone. So look at it. You click on this. If you do this, that means you have denied it the asset, but if you click on this, it will allow you. Now, what you simply need to do, look at your mouse here. You can see it's just doing that. So if I cross fade, it's going to enter to the next one. Look at it. If I bring my mouse here, I can click on this to, you know, preview, and then I will go over here, and then I'm going to, you know, mix. Just check it out, and you are going to see how nice the whole stuff looks and the good thing about it is that even from here everything about your system you can even minimize your system and you know be able to run anything that you ordinarily would do on your system just by using this application now since i was using uh, my obs to you know uh, pick up the screen recording let me also go to my obs and see what you have there so you can see my obs here you can see that that is very simple. Even if I want to go to my local gallery or I want to launch an application. And the good thing about it is that it's moving in real time. This is exactly what you get by using this feature. So just imagine that you find yourself in uh, an environment where you are possibly the only one on the camera. And then you are trying to like switch, you know, 
in between shot or maybe like a one man show so many things can actually result to you uh, wanting to you know remotely control your vmix using your smartphone i hope this is well understood now uh if you want to get to you know uh, learn more about this or many other things regarding to uh, multimedia production, live streaming, or video editing. This is your one-stop page and channel. Do make sure to subscribe to us if you're watching on uh, on YouTube. And also follow us across all our social media platforms. And if you're seeing this on TikTok, please don't forget to you know like, share, save, and drop your comments in the comment section. Follow as well. Please, not an emoji drop a real comment and if you want us to make another video related to media then it's an opportunity for you to let us know what to create using the comment section till i see you again have a pleasant day